enjoy the show and try to avoid grounding threats from Roku Kanda Viander, Harry Strack the Go Animator, and Paper Luigi 99. Because everyone all over social media and YouTube said that grounding threats don't work. And you know what? They're right. Grounding threats don't work at all. So please, try to avoid those types of threats as much as possible. Thank you. And enjoy the show. Requested by all of you fans, who wanted a remake of my prequel with Dora the Explorer and her family. To tell you the truth, this was way long before I used CapCut for PC in Season 5. But now, it's finally done and remastered. Enjoy! Let's see what's trending on YouTube. What the? What the hell is this? Go animate Tom's, Dora's, worst birthday gift. What kind of video is this? I better go check it out. Oh my god! What kind of sick person would do this to my poor granddaughter? Elena, Cole, you might wanna get over here and see this. Holy sweet mother of goodness gracious! That raccoon guy makes bad and extremely dangerous videos out of Dora! Wow! Just now! I can't believe he would do such a thing like this. And it's not just the videos, it's the old gosh damn city who would make these type of videos like this. You know what? I've got a plan for us. We're going to take everything we love, put it in our suitcases, and get our butts out of here. But first, I'm going to explain this to Dora about why all of us have to leave Go Animate City once and for all. Dora. We need to talk. You're not in trouble. But this is serious. Yeah. I heard you saying we wanted to move out of this house. We're not only moving out of this house, but we're also moving out of this city. From what I've heard, these people in Go Animate City are making grounded videos with harsh and dangerous punishment days out of you, Caillou, Little Bill, and all of the childhood characters they love. We just can't take seeing you being grounded by Rotkoon each and every day anymore. I'm sure you can't take it either. Right? Yes. It's so stupid being grounded for every reason in the book. I don't want to live in this house or in this city anymore either. And harsh punishment days like cutting your eyeballs out, hot showers and cold showers? That's something you should never do this to your daughter. But I'm so glad she didn't do it to me in real life. If you want to move out, I'll help you move out. That was so sweet of you to say that and help us. And yes, I'll never give you punishment days like what Raku Kun did to you. I say we end this conversation and get straight to packing our packs. Shall we? Yes we should. Let's get moving. I just don't know why would these type of people or parents in Go Animate City always do this to you. Every single day, it's the same thing. Over and over and over and over again. I know you just try to have fun. Like doing something cool, explore over the world, experiment with something, help out others, and just try to be yourself. And you didn't deserve to get grounded every freaking time. Each time. The time you got grounded just gets longer and longer. You know you can't grow up and be a bad person you don't want to be. You're a good girl, and we will always love you just the way you are. But hey. Here we are. Moving out of this house and go animate city is the only best option we have. Now all we have to do is to go back to Nickelodeon Studios so that way we can get our normal lives back. Not seeing you being grounded by all of the people of this hellhole of the city all the time. Oh, here's the airport. Finally. Nickelodeon Studios, here we come.
Okay everybody, we know how angry and furious we are with this city for making these types of videos out of my sweet little Dora and every childhood characters that everyone loves. But what the heck? Today's the day. It's about time we give this jerk of the city the talk we needed to give them for the longest time. Oh heck yes. That sounds like a good plan. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Oh. Hey. Welcome to the Go Animate City Airport. You've got tickets to Nickelodeon Studios. That's very good. But wait a second. Are you having a family vacation? Oh, we are not taking a family vacation. So listen up and listen good if you really want to know. My daughter Dora has been suffering for the past several years, day and night, being grounded by your YouTube videos for everything she does. She tries to teach kids how to speak Spanish, explore in all places, save the world, and have fun. But you keep her from doing that. She can't be that person she wants to be when you keep making these types of videos out of her like that. At this time, we are moving out of the city and going back to Nickelodeon's studios, so that way we can get our normal lives back. Not watching her being grounded by your videos all the time. What? No. Miss Marquez. You can't do that. I know that I make grounded videos out of your daughter all the time. I do it just to keep her safe. I don't want her making bad decisions as she grows older. So yeah. I'm just doing what I can do so that way Dora can succeed, madam. It may not seem like it, but I love Dora the Explorer, very much. You love Dora the Explorer? What? You love Dora the Explorer? No! That is a good Stan lie, and you know that. If you love Dora, you wouldn't be grounding her for a truly every single thing she does. You put my poor sweet little granddaughter through so much bull crap that we just can't take it anymore. We are moving out of this city because Dora has been treated like crap for a good portion of her life. And also let's not forget that you also make dangerous punishment day videos out of my daughter, such as giving her a hot lava shower, drilling her hair with a driller, beating the living heck out of her with a spike bat, setting her room on fire, having her getting hit by an airplane by using this cannon and as soon as she hits the ground, she'll be crushed by the car, cutting her eyeballs out hitting her head with a spike block, having Boris to kill his own son Kalo, which is Dora's friend from PBS Kids, hitting her with a piano, and more. Wow! Just wow! What kind of sick person such as yourself would do such a thing like this? Don't you know that all of this is child abuse? You should be ashamed of yourself for what you've did to Dora. If you do any of this crazy stuff in real life, you might get arrested and having your butt thrown in jail. Is that what you want? I think not. It has gotten to this point. We cannot take it anymore. We just want to live a life. Do you have any final words to say to us before we're out of here? Look Marquez family. I'm sorry for how I've treated Dora for all this time. I've just felt a little disappointed in her behavior. I won't ever treat her like that ever again. Well it's too late for your apologies and sympathy. You've done it to me for too long now. I'm fed up with it. Now if you excuse us, we're out of the city for good. You can kiss our butts goodbye. Wait. I can explain. Oh, no! Get away from us you abusive witch. We are not taking you or any of your abusive go animate city friends and family with us. And that is the very end of it. So take care now, bye bye then. Now if you'll excuse us, we're out of this hell hole for good. We never want to see any of you jerks ever again. Finally! I'm done with the freaking remastered prequel version that you guys wanted me to make. I am so freaking sorry for my freaking laziness. Hopefully you'll understand that. I'm Alfred. And this is my new friends. Meet Jeff. Hi. Jennifer. Hi. Modern blogger. Yo. Good guy. Hi there. And Navigator. Hi.
I'm so glad to meet all of you fans. Happy 5th anniversary to the amazing Caleb, who started his YouTube channel in 2018. Thank you all for joining us. As a reminder, Dora's worst birthday gift by Roku-kun has finally been deleted from his channel. Thank you all for joining us and watching this prequel remastered version of this video. Have a good, great and amazing day to all of you.